Hey, every, <clears throat> hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Equality and Rights for All. I'm your host, Anthony Larito Duke, and we have a great topic for today's show in which it is players taking a knee during national anthem. Okay, I mean, in any situation, right? It's always important to listen to both sides or all sides. And, you know, both sides or all sides, you know, they make, each side makes valuable um, points. And like with this, like with this particular situation, I understand why um, players take a knee, you know, and, you know, I th- personally, I think it's okay, you know, because first of all, taking a knee, you know, when people kneel, it's it, it is out of respect. Like it's done, you know, religiously in churches, you know, um, uh, a lot of people take a knee, like when they meet royalty. Um, men bend on one knee when they propose to their wife. You know, when they propose to their women, their future wives. And so, to me personally, you know, I don't see a problem with it. But then again, on the other side of the coin, I understand how, you know, people can feel that um, uh, it may be insulting to, to a lot of people. You know, for years and years, for decades, you know, whenever people um, heard the national anthem, they always stood up and they put their hands on their hearts and whatever. So I understand that. And I see their points too. But, you know, times are changing. And um, that's why I've... You know, I made a suggestion a long time ago. Like when it came, when it, when it comes to uh, sports, you know, there's two suggestions that I gave. Number one, I mean, since this is just, you know, since this is, you know, uh, you know, a big thing with the kneeling and whatever, then don't play the national anthem. You know, just get right into the sport itself because of the fact that people pay to see the sport being played. They're not there to just hear the the national anthem. Listen, you can hear the national anthem on uh, basically anywhere. You can go on YouTube or download it or whatever. They're not there to for just the national anthem. No one goes, oh, National anthem is going to be played at a sporting event. I want to go to that sporting event just to hear the national anthem. No. So, you know, like one suggestion that I gave was, you know, they don't have the national anthem. Or, or another suggestion is have the national anthem being, being played at a halftime. Or, or, or whatever during a break, you know. That way, you know, players can go back to wherever, and whoever doesn't want to, you know, to listen to the national anthem or whatever the case may be, have it during a break, you know, and you know, have it that way. But then again, there are certain sports that don't have a break, so. You know, it, it's it's going to come down. My gut feeling is it's going to come down to um, probably the national anthem just won't be played at you know at sporting events, and people are going to go, "Well, that's been done for decades." 
Yeah, and times are changing. So people don't go there for the national anthem. You want to listen to the national anthem? Go on YouTube and play it, or, or you know, however you want to, uh, uh, you know, download it or whatever and listen to it as often as you want. So, just get right into the sport. That's what I, that's what I say. That way, it avoids everything. Just get right into the sport. No national anthem. No, you know, uh, 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 songs and dance and everything else. You're there for the sport. That's it. Really. Now. Um. Uh. And a lot of people have asked me, "Well, what about like, um, um, a big main event, um, like the Super Bowl and, and stuff like that?" Well, again, don't play the national anthem. Just go for the sport, and during like halftime or whatever you call it, just have a, a professional singers perform. That's it. That way it avoids everything. You don't like the kneeling during national anthem? Okay, fine. That's your opinion. Okay. Don't have the national anthem. Then. I mean, really, if it comes down to it. So, and personally, I feel that it's going to come down to all sporting events are just going to stop playing the national anthem. And you know what? That'll resolve everything. That way people don't have to argue, well, you know, uh, I don't like people taking a knee during national anthem. Okay. But I also understand why people do take a knee. And, and like I said before, taking a knee, in my opinion, is a sign of respect. And I just said many examples before why. So, I mean, that's just my opinion, and but I understand both sides. I do. So, you know, that's just my opinion. And we got to respect one another, ladies and gentlemen. We really do. we got to stop this nonsense of nitpicking and finding complaints with everything and everybody all the time. Stop it. You don't like people taking a knee? Don't look at them. What about yourself? Oh, I don't like it while looking at them taking a knee. Well, then don't look at them. Seriously. Oh, everybody's taking a knee. So what? What does that have to do with you? I don't like it. Well, then don't look at it. Seriously. People want to complain about every teeny, tiny, itty, bitty little thing, man. And it's enough. Enough. And anyways, um, you know, I, I just want to remind all my fans out there that after I'm done hosting this show, I will host another episode of my show, Advocate Information Highway, on YouTube. And I also wanted to remind all my fans out there um, about my business, my website, which is Advocate Information Highway, and the link to there is awldny.com and you guys could check out all the pages on there, and I hope to speak to everybody again tomorrow uh, for Disabled Reality, which is another show that I host here on Spreaker.com, and so with that, take care, everybody. Bye.